Good afternoon and welcome to Concho Valley Live. I'm your host, Sonora Scott. We've got a fun show up ahead, so don't go anywhere. Concho Valley Live starts right now. Okay, everybody, I have Rossi Andonian here, celebrity historian, getting us in the Christmas spirit, ready to talk about some things that people might not realize about Christmas. That's right. I've been dreaming of a white <laughs> Christmas. Yes. And that's exactly what George Washington had at for it was a white Christmas. And yeah. you know, the story I think today is about the founding principles or the founders in the Chris, in Christmas time. Yes, most yeah. definitely. Now you know, and the white Christmas that he spent was December twenty fifth. In 1776, many mm -hmm. people have seen that famous painting of him crossing the Delaware River, oh, yeah. and that is really fascinating to me because if you look closely at there's there's ice, there's there's a snowstorm once they cross the river. Of course, after the point of the painting, and what's really amazing about that is that that is a very dark moment of the American Revolution. It doesn't look good. The cause does not look good, mm -hmm. but because he surprises the British, because no one's crazy enough to do it on Christmas Day on a white Christmas like right. that with the freezing rain and pelting in their face, and not even everyone making it across the river to do an attack. Right. Well, the British were wrong. Someone was crazy enough. It was George Washington, <laughs> and he crossed the river, and that really changed the fortunes of the American yeah. Revolution because they won a surprise victory there and got a string of victories after that. Although there were some ups and downs in the years to come, but after the Revolution, yeah. when the war was over in 1783, several years later, what's fascinating about Christmas is it comes back relevant to George Washington again because just two days before Christmas, he surrendered his commission as a military officer, yeah. and he said that I want to transfer the power back to the body that gave it to me which is Congress, because he saw that the people, the Congress, should be supreme to the military surrender his commission back. He said, my job is done. The revolution's over. Yeah. And that also set a very important precedent in our country of George Washington putting people above the military, civilians above the military. So yeah. Christmas and George Washington, critically important to the American story. Exactly. Yeah, going hand in hand. And so uh, you brought something very, we've been eyeing it and smelling it this whole time, <laughs> uh, that also has some relevance. This recipe closely tied. That's as well. right. So. Let's say you're not on the battlefield with George Washington. Yeah. Let's say you're at his house, okay? So the war is over. You're going to go over to his home. This is known as the Yorkshire Christmas pie. Okay. So this is an English dish with a George Washington twist. We use George Washington's recipe here from Mount Vernon. Okay. You can find the recipe at noshingswithnicole.com. So this is what it would be like to actually go to his home. Inside this is chicken, bacon, turkey, Ooh. and stuffing and filling. This is what you would do. You put the hole in there. You let yeah. the gravy kind of simmer in. And you eat it kind of like a chicken pot pie. You just dig in there. Very heavy meat because colonials for these feasts would eat a lot of meat. That's yeah. why there's three kinds of meat in here. And in fact, what's really fascinating in Virginia, George Washington and his contemporaries, they would have about 20 to 40 dishes for a Christmas feast, believe oh it or not. Goodness. And and what's amazing about that is they're just, there you go. There's oh a nice goodness, slice right, right there. there. Look how nice it looks. A cross section of all the different meats. Now, a lot of the founders actually got gout because of the oh fact no. that they ate so much meat. <laughs> 20 to 40 dishes. This is just one of the dishes. Now, what's fascinating is they also drank a lot. Yeah. They also did gambling and, mal and, and uh, masquerade balls. Yes. This is an English tradition for the 12 days of Christmas from December 25th to January 6th. That's what the Virginians are carrying over. Now, and not everyone agreed on that. Like, mm -hmm. for example, in New England, the colonists there in Massachusetts, they didn't like a very heavy Christmas. They actually like, were supposed to work. They thought it was a dishonor to God to celebrate that oh way. <laughs> so not all colonial Americans agree. But if you're in George Washington's home in Virginia, you're going to have a much more festive partying type of Christmas with this as one of the dishes. We have many accounts wow. of serving this exact dish at George Washington's home. Many accounts and letters that talk about this dish being one of his favorites to be served that inside his home. Fantastic. Absolutely. Oh yeah. my goodness, you're making history fun for us. Uh, real <laughs> quick, how do people connect with you and learn more? Yeah, With me, you go to celebrityhistorian.com where I have a whole bunch of different history content, yeah. right ways to engage. On Instagram, it's celebrity underscore historian. And if you want this recipe, you can go to noshingswithnicole.com. The way I think of it is, you know how you might make some food to rem remind you of your grandmother and kind of re relive your family yeah. history? Well, in this case, make this dish and relive the country's history, connecting with the father of the country. And you <laughs> taste it and experience history. I love it. Well, Rafi, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Of course. Well, hey, folks, we still have more up ahead, so keep it right here on Concha Valley Live.